guys! Today I wanted to share with you some items that I purchased uh, from a couple of different places. I have some things from Kohl's, uh, some items from Michael's, some items that I purchased in New York when I was visiting my mom at Kate Spade and Papyrus Stationery, and then I have a couple of items that I purchased while I was in Italy. So this is everything here. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Okay, the first items that I have are these awesome Heidi Swap Marquee letters, or actually Marquee Halloween Craft Kits the, from the Marquee Love Collection. These are actually from Kohl's, and I love them. I'm going to open this one up so that you can take a look at it. It is the bat. What I did is while I was in Italy, I texted my husband the picture so that he knew what to look for. And I told him next time he was at Kohl's to just run in there and see if they had these. And he was able to find all of them. There is a bat. There's a skull. There's a pumpkin. And there's a witch's hat. So I'm going to open these up so you can take a closer look at them. Okay, we're going to open up the bat first. I really love this, and I'm going to show you some differences that these pieces have uh, versus the paper letters that you purchase at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Okay, the first thing is this is pre-decorated, so it is all black glitter, and look at that. That is so awesome. I love it. And I love the fact that the light's already put in for you, or the bulb part. And another thing, that is plastic. If you have purchased the Marquee Love letters, you'll know that they're white paper. They do allow you to be able to decorate them really well because they're paper, but these are going to be for my mantle for Halloween, and I want them to really last, and I totally love them. This thing is gorgeous, and it is set up the same way with the lights and the hidden battery with the on and off switch. So I really like that because then when they're displayed on my mantle there won't be any wires we got a new mantle this year when we redid um, redecorated our living room so I'm really excited about that so look how pretty this is and I'm going to show you the box it does have some ideas of possibly decorating these but I'm really not sure why you would want to do that because they're so so pretty and inside you get different pieces that you can decorate this with so look at this, there's like bat faces, so if you want to put a bat face in there, you can do that as well. I'm going to choose not to do that, that's a little too cartoonish for my house decorations, but for somebody that may want to change the look of the bat, I mean check that out, that is so cute. Now again, these were purchased at Kohl's, you want to be careful on that because I did see the bat, the skull, the pumpkin and the witch's hat at Michael's and Hobby Lobby, but they were totally different. They were the paper white ones. So they are completely different than this. So I thought that was really cool. I love this. I cannot wait to put it up. I'm going to open the other three so you can take a closer look at those as well. The next piece we have is the skeleton, and I love this. Again, this is also plastic, and it is white glitter. It's a little hard to see, so I'm going to show you close up what the glitter looks like. And I love this one. It is so cute. Here's the box that it came in. And again, here are the different ideas to decorate it. It shows you different things that you can do with this kit. And I will show you the inserts that it comes with. Look how cool that is. So you can make these like candy skulls. I really love that. That's beautiful. Actually, for my decor, this one's going to work really well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it white glitter or if I'm going to turn it into one of these skull heads. But I thought that was really, really neat. That's what came in the box to decorate them. So let's move on to the pumpkin. The next one I'm going to be showing you is the pumpkin. I love this one. This one's probably my favorite. And this is just the remote control for the lighting system. And that's why I love these, because of the fact that once they go on my mantle, you're not going to see any wires. Look at the gorgeous glitter on this one. I absolutely love it. And again, it is plastic. And on this one, I'll show you the box. Here are the different ideas for a decorating. And let's see what came in the box. I think this one's a little hidden, so I just gotta look for the insert pieces. Here we go. 
you can make it black and white striped, which is really cool. And that's another thing too. These kind of just pop in. You just have to remove the bulbs and then put down the paper and put the bulbs back on. But then you can remove it again if you choose. So if you get bored of it, you can change the way it looks. And that's really, really neat. I love that about this. And I think there might be a gold insert, but I'm not sure I'll take a look. Nope, I just have that one insert. And then here we have these felt pieces that are glitter to make the face of the pumpkin. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put these on or not, but they're really cool because they're glitter as well. Look at how gorgeous that is. And there's stickers in the back. So if you wanna decorate his face, I mean, obviously I can't do it now because I'm kind of rushing, but that might be a nose, that might be an eye. <laughs> and just do different things with him. It's just really, really cool. There's a ton of different faces you can make, and I think that's so adorable. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do a face on mine. I just think the orange glitter is just gorgeous on this one. I can't get over how beautiful it is. And the glitter here is not permanent. While I look at it, it's underneath the bulbs, and I believe that's gonna remove, and you can just swap it out with whatever you want. So that's really, really cool, guys. I am seriously impressed. Let's move on to the witch's hat. Okay, guys, here is the witch's hat, and check that out. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Here are the ideas for decorating on the cover. And I'm just gonna pull that open here. It's gonna show you what the kit comes with. I'm gonna just reach inside for all the little bits and pieces in this one. This has a little bit more than the other kits. I really, really like that they gave this to us. It makes it really fun to decorate. So here is the hat. And here are some of the stickers that came inside. How cute is that? You can put the buckle stripes on there. There is a spider web. There is the moon and the stars. We also have this piece here where we can put that on and then add one of the belts and the stars. Really, really cute or you can just keep it the black glitter if you choose to. And here is the lighting for that. And I just absolutely love them. I fell in love with these. I'm so glad that my husband found them. I'm thrilled. So that was all of them, guys. We're gonna move on to the next items. Okay, since those items are gonna be going on my new mantle, the bat, the pumpkin, the witch's hat, and the skull's face, I wanted to write something in between them. So I purchased three letters and we're gonna spell out the word boo. And I thought that was really super cute. Now these were purchased at Michael's and these are the paper ones. These are not the plastic. So these are the ones that you can paint and spray paint, uh, do glue and glitter on. You can pretty much do anything. You could do paper with them. You can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna decorate those up to um, work with the other pieces that I got. While I was at Michael's, I just picked up a couple of random things and I'll show them to you quickly. I got this glitter tape, which I absolutely love. I mean, it is beautiful. I also picked up this jumbo glitter, which I thought was really cute. I'm gonna be switching over to an A5 planner and I wanna do a clear pocket with some glitter in it so I thought that would be really pretty and as you can see it's super sparkly and then I picked this up for my planner as well they're really cute they're little clothes pins miniature ones decorated for Halloween and they are perfect for paper clips inside of your planner so only got those three items so that was everything that came from Michael's now this is also planner related. I stopped at Kate Spade and I'm just going to show you what I purchased there. This was the wrapping. I already took it apart. For those of you that follow my Periscope, you know that I showed this on my Periscope already. And I showed a couple of the Michaels items as well. And if you want my Periscope address, I will leave it below. It's the same as my name here, which is Doodle D Designs. And that is also my name on Instagram. So when I went to Kate Spade, I saw this and I fell in love with it. 
I totally love it. Guys, I am a glass freak, and I know that a lot of us are since um, the Reset Girl came along because she's really big into the glasses, but I actually wear glasses all the time, and I always liked glasses and stickers that had glasses on them well before that. So when I saw this, I was so in love with it. And check out the cute little Kate Spade charm, and I just love it. It's beautiful. And I'm going to unzip it, and I'm going to show you what's inside. The first thing you get are two Kate Spade pencils, and I really like them. It says... Let's see if we can get it to focus. To whom it may concern, Kate Spade, New York. And to whom it may concern. And what's different about these pencils is they're not your normal number two pencil. They're very, very thin, as you can see them in my hand. And I like that about them. They're so delicate and so pretty. Okay, the next thing we have is the ruler. And I'm just going to pull it out of the plastic so we can see it. I love this one. It's a little hard to tell, but it is gold on the acetate. So that's really, really cute. Okay, the next item in the pouch is this Kate Spade of New York eraser. I really, really like that. And what's really cute is the little quote that's on the back. It says, to err is human. And I thought that was so perfect. Now, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I cannot live without an eraser, especially when I plan. And then the next item that comes in, the final item, is this cute little pencil holder, or I'm sorry, pencil eraser sharpener, not eraser, sharpener. And I like it because it's fitting to this small pencil. And I would not have had one this small, so I'm glad they included that. So that was everything that came inside. But one of my favorite features of this, I'm not sure if you can see with my lighting and my camera, the inside of this bag is forest green. It is so pretty. Or actually not forest green, it's a little bit lighter than that. It's more of like a St. Patrick's Day green. I love it. It is gorgeous. So I just had to have it. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. So I'm just going to put back all the pieces inside that came with it and zip that up. Really, really pretty. And that is the only thing that I purchased at Kate Spade. Okay, these are the next items I picked up and they were from Papyrus Stationery Store. I love these sticky notes. It said write it says write it down fun shape sticky notes and I really really like that and there is 175 decorative stickers in here. As soon as I opened it, I knew I had to have it. It has the light bulb, the pencil, this really cute one here that says memo. We have the one with the pencil and the pen, the one with the protractor, this one here that has the spiral and the pencil, and this one that's the alarm clock, and I love the alarm clock one because it would be really cute to mark down times when I have appointments or when I have to be up at a specific time. And I really, really like that. So I am so thrilled that I picked that up. The next thing I picked up is this New York City notepad. And I love everything New York, obviously. And like I said, I was in New York visiting my mom. And check this out. Check out the foil that's on the top of this notepad. I'm so in love with it. And then look at the little bookmark. The little bookmark is a green felt stitched leaf. That is so cute. And it says NYC, I Heart New York. And I love it. And I just love all the gold foiling. Or actually, it's a reddish toned foil, like red on red. And I just love it. And it says down here, I heart New York. I just love it so much. So I'm going to open it up. And here's the bookmarker. Look at how cute that is. It is a apple-shaped notebook. And then you can just take your bookmarker and you can just mark the page that you're on. I really love that, and I'm so glad I picked that up as well. The next thing I got at Papyrus was this here, and I love it. This is the cutest book ever. It says, never put off till tomorrow what you can straight up cancel, and I love that. And again, a couple of you have seen this already because I did show this on my Periscope. I totally love that. I love it with the gold foil. It's really cute. It's 40 lined pages. 
and it's just the perfect little notepad for taking notes. Love that one. Now this one here is not from Papyrus. I actually purchased this on my trip to Italy and I love it. It's super cute. It just says Italia and there is no lined paper. It's just solid paper, but I thought it would be really cute for putting sketches in. Different sketches for different things. Maybe my project life, uh, maybe a certain layout in my planner. Anything that I want to sketch out I thought would be really, really cute. And I love it because it has the rubber protective cover on it so your cover won't get ruined. Really love that a lot. So those were the stationary items I purchased in Italy and at Papyrus. And then this is my last items. Um, I actually purchased this at the airport I left from. I did not leave from JFK when I was in New York. I actually left from Westchester Airport. That's the one that's closest to my mom's house. And I saw these when I was picking up my breakfast and they were outrageously priced but I hadn't bought anything really besides the notepad that said uh, New York on it. So I wanted to take something with me that said New York. And this little pouch was so cute. And I love it because it has a back pocket here. And then over here on this side, it has little slots that you can put pencils in. So you can put like a uh, eraser, you can put a pencil, you can put all kinds of little goodies and stash in there. Now this one actually I didn't think was that bad. It was $9.99 and I don't think that's bad for a pencil case. And I just love the way it's constructed. It's really good quality. I love the stitching on it. The stitching is really, really nice. And let's see, it is made by City Merchandise Dot com. So www.citymerchandise.com. Really, really like that. And there's the price, $9.99, and it's called City Bags. So really like that. And then I also picked up this really cute magnet that happens to be a mini notepad. How cute is this? And it says New York, and it's just regular paper in here, like a little spiral notebook. And then it has the magnet on the back so you can put it on your refrigerator and you can write little notes in there. How adorable is that? I had to have it. I thought it was so cute. And then I purchased two pens and these pens were really cute. I was looking for a better quality pen. I'm not saying that these are the best, but they didn't look cheap to me, so I really like them. This one here says New York. I haven't taken this sticker off yet and it has this swirly clip that I really, really like, and then it has a little apple at the end, which is adorable. I love the apple. So it's just really cute with the bead on the top, and I really like that. It opens and closes really nicely, just with one click. And then I bought the corresponding taxi one because it was adorable as well. Same thing, it clicks easily like this. And look at this taxi cab. The detail on it is just phenomenal. I love it. And it also says New York, and I do have to take this sticker off. I just haven't gotten around to doing that. And it has the metal clip. Really like that. It's really a good quality pen, and it writes really nice. It does not skip, because I did test both of them before I purchased them. So I wanted to have both because they were really cute. So that was what I purchased at the airport. And then I have one other item. I actually bought, purchased this in Italy and I love it. It's from Shaka Sicily. As you can see down at the bottom, it says Shaka. This is the artist. Shaka is known for their ceramics. So they had this beautiful ceramic shop and it does have some markings in there, but that's okay because it's all done by hand. So I like that it has a little bit of imperfections. My scrapbook room and my planning room are teal and orange, so I thought the colors would go really well. And basically it's just a little knickknack bowl. There's a couple of things I can do with this. I can put in the paper clips that I'm currently working with. I can also put in uh, smaller sample sticker sheets that I just want to throw on the side that I'm using for my spread. I can also put in a damp 
um, paper towel or a baby wipe when I'm using stamps and I need to wipe them off. You always want to keep your wet, moistened baby towel and paper towel separate on your desk so it doesn't touch any of your papers because once it touches paper, that paper is ruined. So I can use it for that. I can also use it to hold wood veneers and flare buttons when I'm doing Project Life. So I am in love with this bowl. Even with the imperfections, I really don't care. It's just gorgeous. And I love the fact that it is from uh, Sicily. So that's really cute. That's going to sit on my desk. So that was it, guys. I did not purchase a lot of planning items when I was in Italy. It was difficult for me to find stuff. I did purchase a lot of postcards. I absolutely loved my trip. I am home now and I am dying. It's probably been a week and I'm still jet lagged, so I don't know how long this is going to take. It's going to take me a long time to adjust because usually jet lag and I do not mix well. So um, I loved the, the trip, guys, but it was extremely long, uh, just about two months, and I miss my house, my husband, and my kitties so much, so it is really nice to be home. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. It is really nice to be back, guys, and to be doing videos again, so expect more from me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.